the Supreme Court's decision to allow corporations to contribute as an individual? The, uh, what's my opinion about the Supreme Court allowing corporations to contribute uh, as individuals? Well, the one thing about corporations and individuals uh, is the issue, but broadly speaking about spending your money, whether it's you as an individual or you have a company, I say it's your money, you can spend it any way you want. Uh, I, know, I know why you might be concerned about that, because money does talk in Washington. Money controls things, whether it's controlling the candidates, whether it's controlling the lobbyists, but I'm very careful about this because let's say that uh, we don't want the corporations to um, be involved in lobbying these, these kind of things. But what if you want to lobby for less government? What, what, do I want to read? What, what if you happen to believe in the Second Amendment and you raise some money and you want to go down there and, and straighten Washington up on certain of these issues? I don't want any restraints on that. I want you to be able to do that. But where the problem comes in is when the government takes resources out of the economy, then they auction it off. And there's an auction going on down there constantly. And that's what they're doing. They're bidding up the auction to get it. So we're always going to have this problem as long as the government has so much control over the finances and, and you can't do anything without uh, you know, getting permission from, from, the, from the government. So that's, that's where the, the real problem is. Now, um, as far as lobbyists and special interests are concerned, there would be another way that probably could work rather quickly, but it doesn't seem to work very well, and that is having uh, maybe people uh, with a greater, degree, a greater degree of ethics in Washington who refuse to make deals with any of these guys. 